Uh, so the Wagner Control Pro 130 has a power cord that comes out the back, so I plug that in, and then it has the um, the hose for the spray nozzle coming out the front, which I've already hooked up. Um, the hard part to figure out is priming, how to prime this thing, so it's not really hard, but <laughs> here is the on-off switch, so you got to turn it on and then um, pour some water like that. And when you turn it on, turn uh, the knob vertical. That that primes it. And um, then when you turn the knob horizontal, um, it primes the hose. So it will run until it primes the hose. And it doesn't matter if you turn it right or left. The knob turns. <laughs> Okay, so now um, to prime my hose, the first thing I did was um, spray into an empty spray can without the tip on it. So this one comes off like this. Should have done that before. Um, so I can see that the hose is primed because it's spraying straight out of the gun. So I'm going to screw my tip on. Not too tight, just finger tight they say. And then there's a hole up at the top where your um, spray tip is going to go into. So I'm going to make sure it's still spraying. It is. It's spraying the water. Um, so now I'm going to put my tip in the hole on the top and um, you can see that there's an arrow that shows the direction that the paint should be flowing. I push that down, I have to loosen it up a little bit, push that down until it clicks in and then rotate it so that the arrow is showing the way that the paint would flow and then tighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going to spray again. Perfect. So now it's spraying the water. And what happened when I was setting this up the first time is the water would not spray out. So I thought I needed to clear this nozzle um, from the last time that I used it and maybe didn't clean it enough. So I went uh, to my air compressor. You can hear it going off in the background right now. And I put my air gun right up to here and I sprayed. And I could see that um, it was blowing some paint and water out. Um, so I thought I had cleared it, and I came back and I put it back in, and it still would not go. It still wouldn't spray, even after I had used my air compressor to clean out what I thought was the clogged tip. And I didn't, I, I was actually <laughs> getting in the truck to go buy a new uh, tip for my paint job here. And then um, I thought, well, let me just check this out. So I read um, a troubleshooting tip on the lid of this um, paint apparatus. And it said, if your tip clogs, turn it around backwards and spray into um, And sure enough, that cleared just by turning the tip around backwards where it shows the flow goes this way. Um, and spraying, it cleared the tip on me way better than trying to use compressed air to blow it out. So I know it sounds silly and I can't believe I thought that was the answer, but it seemed like the right thing to do. So now I've got it spraying and um, when it's up like this, the slit makes it spray a horizontal pattern and then you can rotate it 90 degrees and then the slit will be the other way and it will spray a vertical pattern. All right, so now I've got it primed with water. Over here. Um, what I'm going to do is empty out my water, pour my paint in, and uh, prime the paint. So I always use good paint, and it said um, make sure you're using fresh paint when you're pouring into the Wagner uh, Pro 130 or whatever it is because um, you don't want to clog. There's a screen down there that will filter for you, but if you have chunky paint or old paint, uh, recycled paint or whatever, it, um, it will clog that screen and clog your screen, clog your gun pretty quickly. So, um, 
is a fresh can of paint. I shook it up a little bit, but I'm going to stir it to make sure it um, looks good. I'm sure, I'm sure you saw I'm using the Dura Clean by Dutch Boy. Norman Summer Girls. You guys checking it out? That's Napoleon uh, crowing in the background. He's my rooster. The alpha rooster. And you can see this thing will hold over a gallon of paint. But I'm just going to start with this one until it gets down a little bit and then I'll add some more. I've got uh, three things I'm going to be painting today to match my flowers. I'm going to paint this lean-to, I'm going to paint my chicken coop, and I'm going to paint my lighthouse art studio that I built. All right, so now that I got the paint in there, what I need to do is uh, purge that water out and um, get the paint to flow through. So I'm spray it in this empty can. it on this piece of wood right here. Um, I think I'm ready. Now I'm going to 